Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. Um, I wanted to show you guys this really interesting free game. Um, it's called Simple Train Simulator 2. Um, basically, they have two versions. This is a version that you can act actually download onto your computer. And I believe they also have other versions which are... Um, actually online like through their website um, I thought I would show you the one the, the version which is on the computer the problem with it is it's in Japanese but it's, it seems to be quite easy to work out um, it seems like the version on, on the website is um, or through the website is in English as well but it's a really interesting little game and the one thing you have to bear in mind is the scenery. I don't think the scenery is supposed to be upscaled, if you know what I mean. I think you're supposed to play it in quite a small window, but if I played it in that smaller window, the quality on YouTube sh surely would be really weird because there'll be people that will be trying to watch it like with a larger screen. I don't know, so I just thought this might be the best way of doing it. However, I highly encourage you that if you enjoy these kind of train simulator games this is certainly worth a look it's free and hopefully as you will see it's certainly um, worth a little bit of your time although the scenery looks a bit kind of blurry or pixelated the actual quality of you know the realism I'd say the realism of the um, the scenery is really good the only thing is though, I'm not very good at the game, in that you do need to follow certain rules which I don't seem to be completely au okay with. Anyway, let's press OK. So, as you can see, this is my train. And you pull the lever back to go. And it's telling me we've got over a thousand meters until the next train station so it looks like they've actually used like some kind of video like real video in order for them to make this game it's it's really interesting I mean it's like I said the the actual scenery looks blurry but it looks really realistic and I actually really like it in a way you know feels pretty awesome to me and the actual feeling of playing the game is very similar to what I get playing up like the other train simulator games in that you still have to slow down in time you know you can't just you know like it's not easy mode and although the graphics are not brilliant you know I still get a really good feeling from this game and it's really interesting having like the Japanese scenery because whoopsie one of the things that train simulator is not very good at the dovetail version is for some reason they don't have a lot of Japanese routes in fact I believe they don't have any routes at all okay so I believe we can now leave it's a little bit unclear about some aspects of the game. Oh no, so I can't leave yet. What does this do? Oh, I don't even know what that does. I don't even know what that does actually, to be fair. Okay, so off we go. For some reason there's some kind of jerkiness at the beginning when you first start, and then when you get, once you get going, um, it seems to get quite smooth although it's still quite blurry I suppose the thing that I would say is it kind of made me wonder like is it actually a possibility that someone could make a simulator game using this kind of a method using video because it if you think about it a train a train simulator you're only really you know because you're on on rails, maybe it's quite easy for you to make this this kind of game by using video. Obviously, higher quality video. I mean, if you can actually make it so that the 
it kind of it looks really realistic and not blurry then maybe that's a possible way that you could actually make scenery for a train sim in the future you know it kind of got me it kind of got me thinking you know I mean obviously this is a free game you know this is obviously a free game but like if someone was to have a go at making a proper version like a train sim game properly using this kind of a technique I think I'm supposed to stop at a certain place and I think before I failed because I had stopped at the wrong place I think I'm gonna fail let me see am I gonna fail oh it said minus 2.8 ah so of course I, I I need to stop when it gets to zero yeah please don't fail <laughs> um, okay. and I I have to wait for this the sound of the door closing before I can start I suppose that would make a lot of sense wouldn't it whoops that would make a lot of sense I've not worked out what, what the button here actually does at all. I wonder if it's just the same as what I'm doing here. No, it doesn't seem so. Obviously, the dashboard is very, very basic. But hey, I don't know. I could actually enjoy this game. I mean, this is a real, a real route in Japan. So, I don't know. Like, I find this quite interesting and it's free. And I could kind of happily play this for a period of time and enjoy it for free, you know? So I, I kind of wanted to share this with you guys. I'm sure there are other people that have heard of this. If you're like a hardcore guy, you know, if you're pretty, oh, I'm going a bit fast. Actually, I should be fine. If you're quite a hardcore train guy, you probably will know about this. I think you need to stop. Oh, yeah. You need to stop within five meters each way of the thing, the distance on here. So I've kind of worked out. I seem to remember last time I played. Hey, I finished. Awesome. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so I'm not going to do any more. I mean, the idea was just to do a very short video just to show you this game. And like I said, you're not really seeing the full kind of... The full feeling of the game from YouTube because like I said I think if you were to play it you'd probably play it in a slightly smaller window so you don't really notice the blurry graphics um, as much anyway I'm thinking this is a cool free little game I'd love to know what you guys think I'll leave a link of course in the description for this game and as always guys I'll see you in the next one bye bye